Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're back on the skid steer. I know, we wanna be working on the Jeep, but we gotta figure out how bad this engine is. Today, the plan is get this tore apart, whatever we gotta to do to slide this little bitty engine out, get it tore apart, figure out how bad it is. It could be completely blown up, it could be a simple fix, we just don't know. So we're gonna start ripping parts off till something falls out, see what happens. You are all concerned about that being heavy. <laughs> now you're just making it look heavy. And we wanna make sure we take apart as many things as we can so we can't remember how it goes back together. So I know that this is a bypass oil system, it's not a full flow, but I gotta believe that that's a problem. There is no oil going through that filter at all. A problem, number one. Yeah. Wow, I think you're just weak. <laughs> Here you go. Okay, we can see motor mounts, that's something. Okay, step two. This is a variable pulley or sheave they call it to get your speeds. And we've been told these are a real nightmare and if we damage this, it's impossible to find one. So we're kind of learning as we go here. We're gonna do everything as right as we can and hopefully not break anything. Uh, the first step is we gotta get this off. I don't even know what we're doing yet, so stand by. So the instructions say push in on this outer ring here and then there's a snap ring we can see just inside of there. So it probably is gonna take a hammer to get that to move. Hammy right behind you. Hammy. There's Hammy. But is it going to... Okay, so that moves. Oh, wow. Um, I did just see it go in a little. Did it? Look, watch, push on it again. Okay, now that's all the way out. Okay. So now Where are we this gonna... should be a little. Okay, in magnetic tray. Your proof, it went in the magnetic tray. <laughs> I didn't lose it, AJ lost it. Actually, AJ lost it a long time ago. Now, we always get ahead of the instructions, so let's look and see what they say. Fair point. Okay, step 2.5. Yep. Okay, snap ring two. Now it should just slide off really easy. Oh yeah, it's kinda, it's coming. I'm worried I'm popping this end piece off. It's coming. Sort of. Oh. You have a, a go for a second, and then I'll go again. Because there's no way Tim's going to get it. There we go. I loosened it up. Uh, we're going to make a mess. Are we sure? <laughs> yeah. Now you're freaking me yeah. out. Well, it seems to, either I busted it. Well, that's a long bolt. There we go. Hey. It's so nice of you to buy another kit so I can break it. Can I see the impactor, please? There it is. Ah. <laughs> a little bit of your well, own medicine. A wise maybe? guy in every bunch. This is where we've gotten to. I get the light out of there. Just put these two in. That's what you actually pull with. So there's one there, then there's one down there. So you actually hook the puller to those and pull it off. So we'll see if it works. Tim is so graciously setting up our puller. I don't did know. Did you if grease I'm doing... that properly, Tim? I most certainly did not. The instructions call for two quarter inch bolts, but they only want half inch long threads to thread in and bottom the head out along that spline. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut them off, file them clean, hopefully we can get these thread in. That'll give something a nice solid surface for me to throw the bolt and uh, we can get it right against that right there. That's, a nut would be perfect, give us just a little bit more to grab on, but we don't have a nut, we're not prepared here at AJ's farm. We got the bolts cut off and they threaded in really nice. There's one on the bottom, one on the top. Now we gotta juggle this, uh, this puller into here. All right, that actually is working out pretty well. Right there, right there, maybe, right there, right there, right there. Ah, oh, that's reverse. OK, 
Okay, we need to do this by hand so we have more control over it. Yep. Back it up here. I need to get it. We're sliding off. There we go. Is it not moving? It doesn't look like it. Does it look like it to you? I can't tell. All right, I got the belt out. Sweet. All right, so we were gonna pull it, but we need to get some heat on this thing and make sure that it really comes out. We don't wanna break this, you can't get them. So um, we're gonna get some heat on it and see if we can pull it. Well, not only that, we don't wanna break these, the heads of these bolts off either. Yeah, exactly. That would be a bad day. <laughs> Whoa, that's awesome came right off well well that worked out really well we just had to threaten it with heat and it jumped off maybe it would have been one more turn i was just really afraid of snapping the heads of these bolts off but uh we just had to threaten it and it came off but if you ever get into one of these this is new for us don't put a three jaw on the back of this there's these threaded holes that's just a lot of pulling on those little quarter inch bolts but thankfully for us it's off this is our sterilized tray for draining the uh, hydraulic fluid. Then we'll go to this here bucket. Oh, there we go. Are we seriously not going to get any oil out of it? That would be shocking. All right, well, we, we planned for the worst and got nothing. That's good, though. It's, I'd much rather plan and not have anything than take this off and just have a gusher. That's how much hydraulic oil we pull out of the system. All right, the front two. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Oh, there's one right there. And that back one way back there. It's hard to see. It kind of looks like a mound of dirt. But that's the other one. So those are the front two that we got to get to. Well, I think we have everything loose or everything apart. The four motor mount bolts are out. The hydraulic lines are off. The wires are off. Fuel line is off. Linkages are off. Let's see if this thing will move a little bit here. Oh yeah, that is a heavy motor, but it's loose. She's out. It's time to start pulling all the outer skin off and figure out how bad this thing really is. Might be a little, might be really bad. We're gonna find out. What Tim meant to say is it's time for lunch. That too. Talking. we didn't want to happen. There's pieces. We got pieces. Oh, yeah. A broken rod in. Yep. The piston fell right out of the cylinder. Here's, here's a piece of the cam. All right, let's see what's behind door number two. That's a shame. Cylinders actually look really good. Door number three. This one's intact. This side over here is the one with the broken piston, but we can't get to all the bolts yet. So I've unbolted this jug here. We're gonna pull it off, just see what we're seeing, see what we can see. We don't know how much damage there is yet. We can't get, we don't have the right socket for this nut. It's too deep. And we don't wanna cut that off because that's the wrong thing to do, but we can't get any further before we get that off. So we're gonna pull this jug and see what kind of mess we can make here. Come on. Ooh, look at the scoring on that piston. Ooh, that's bad. Uh, 
And this one's not been firing right either. Look at that movement. Them bearings are gone. Well, this definitely turned out to be a little worse than I expected. It's not every day you see a connecting rod turned into a banana. Uh, that would definitely be uh, the failure point, and we did determine the reason this engine failed is the oil lines plugged up between the filter and the block. So this engine did not get oil to the best of our ability. It spun this rod bearing right here, which I think was number something. I think it was number one actually. Um, and then when that rod snapped, it shattered the camshaft, and then the camshaft wallered out the front of the block. And you can also tell more oiling issues there, how scored up that is. But uh, I think we're going to be looking for a long block for this one. She's in pretty rough shape. We will go ahead and price all of these individual parts to see if it's worth rebuilding, but because so much is damaged, the block, the crank, the cam, the piston, everything, it probably is going to be better to go long block. So we'll make some phone calls, we'll figure out what all these prices come to, plus machine work, even if we save this block. We'll price out long blocks and all that fun stuff. When we have some more of those answers for you, we'll get back with you and let you know. We are going to be finishing this skid steer one way or another. If the customer wants it, it's got sentimental value. So keep an eye on our other videos. We're still working on the Jeep. This was just kind of a side project to order parts and get things coming. We'll have some other projects coming up after the Jeep. We're super excited to take that for a drive. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Have a good day.